like a lot of World War II veterans, he really felt he'd been given a gift. He lost a lot of friends, and he thought he really needed to make a difference in his life. And for him, that difference would be public service. I wanted to be in East and North Carolina. It's my birthplace, my natural habitat. Bedwell wasn't far from my hometown. It was big enough to have a promising prospect for the law practice. I was looking to a political career, at least political activity. He ran for president of the Young Democrats. He won that, and then he went on from there, you know. And he was into everything. I met Terry Sanford when I was in college at Chapel Hill. He lived in Fayetteville. I lived in Fayetteville. From the very first time that Terry got involved in politics in, a, in an organized way, he did work in the Frank Porter Graham campaign. One of North Carolina's senators had died. The governor had appointed Frank Graham to serve out the remainder of the term. And then in 1950, Graham decided reluctantly to run for a term of his own. Uh, his opponents came at him on, uh, with anti-communism in the, the first primary. Uh, he won a plurality, but not a majority. And initially, Willie Smith said Graham had won. The election was over and it was time to move forward. But in the closing days, a young newspaper reporter named Jesse Helms went on the radio in, in Raleigh, coming on about every hour, convinced supporters of Willie Smith to gather on his front yard. I said, Willie Smith probably will not call for a second primary unless supporters like you go to his home right now and urge him to run. He did, and in the second primary, Willis Smith beat Graham brutally uh, with the race issue. And I use that language. In the first primary, we hit him with the communists and the people wouldn't take it. Yeah. Now we're going to hit him with the nigger. And they did. It was a blatant racist campaign, no question about it. And it was obviously that, uh, you know, this is the black man's candidate. He's going to destroy society. It was an emotional thing. It was, a, it was an appeal to prejudice. It was election between right and wrong. Not left and right, but right and wrong. And, uh, and Frank Graham was the symbol of right. Just relentless attacks by Jesse Helms on television. There was a meanness about it and unfairness about it that got people so upset to, so it, it, it aggravated the normal divisions over the race issue. That was, of course, Terry's first really serious political engagement uh, on a statewide basis. I had begun to keep a little notebook on my dresser with little notes of how I would handle a particular mm -hmm. situation mm -hmm. and not get uh, caught in the same kind of uh, disaster that the state was caught in as a result of his defeat. He couldn't stand the idea that people would feel that government was the, was the problem rather than the solution. And therefore, if government is the solution to people's problems, politics is the means by which government functions. And so for him, that was the calling. The first uh, movement toward a really progressive state, it started with Carr Scott. Friends, this is Carr Scott. Who was a rural populist kind of leader who paved roads, paved my road, past my farm. I'll never forget it. I was 13 years old and I watched the paving machine and it dawned on me. You get involved in politics, you can help people. You can improve their lives. You can change their future. There are bright days ahead. He did indeed pave secondary roads in a way that changed the economy and really got the farmer out of the mud. He just took an enlightened view about everything. Terry ran the Young People's Campaign for Carr Scott. The campaign was extremely well organized. It had people in every precinct in North Carolina. And these were people whom Terry knew personally, um, and they were the people who really constituted the backbone of the campaign. 
gave me a chance to meet people in every county, gave me a chance to know how a statewide campaign had to be run. I'm not sure that I was broadcasting it, but it was certainly my firm intention to run for governor.